Okay, 42. Uh, prohibition of marijuana establish establishments. 43 and 44 are all right. related to that. 2, 3, and 4. I know, Tom, you want to speak for this? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Please. Say that a vote in favor of this article amends the town's general bylaw to prohibit all commercial, non medical marijuana related industries and businesses collectively called marijuana establishments. A vote in favor of this article combined with a vote in favor of the following two zoning articles. Uh, will provide even more well, strength to the prohibition for all commercial non-medical marijuana establishments in the town. The town currently has a medical marijuana overlay district which was approved by the town uh, meeting in 2014 and it's regulated under the town's zoning bylaw. Nothing in the proposed articles 42, 43, or 44 would affect the existing medical marijuana zoning regulations. A vote in favor of this article would not affect personal possession and use of marijuana that is currently legal under state law. A vote in opposition to this warrant article would allow commercial marijuana establishments such as retailers, cultivators, testing facilities, and product manufacturers, and those establishments would not be subject to any specific town marijuana zoning regulation unless those regulations are adopted at a future town meeting. Carving out a use by amendment on the floor of town meeting would mean that the town would not have an analysis after public hearings of the appropriateness of where in town such use might be applicable, nor would there be any zoning restrictions that might be appropriate to that use, which restrictions might be adopted under a specific warrant article in the future <coughs> for that use. The Cannabis Control Commission just issued its regulations 10 days ago, and they are complex. If there is an interest for carving out a particular use from the prohibition, adequate public hearings can be held for an amendment to the bylaw at a future town meeting this year or in the future. Waiting to adopt the use in the future means that the town would have the benefit of experiences, both good and bad, of other communities which might pass a bylaw and have sufficient time to fully consider which particular uses would benefit the town where they should be located and how they should be regulated. And that, this is consistent, it's just a little bit further than what you told, talked to us about a month ago when we had the I'm meeting I'm just downstairs. expanding. And some of the questions that came up like, as an example on the carve out. Yeah. And so I wanted to explain. I, you know. I, I make a motion we recommend approval. Can I ask a question sure. before we do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um, what if uh, by motion a sunset provision were added to this article such that it only lasted until, say, December 31st of 2012. Uh, what impact would that have? Number one, well, would I'm, that I'm sorry. Say that again. So say uh, uh, there was an amendment to this article that provided that it sunsetted at a specific date. In other words, it ceased to exist upon that date by without any further action required. If that were to happen, what would be the impact on the zoning articles, and would that be legal to have such a sunset provision? I mean, we're essentially saying here that we're doing this to find time so that we can figure out how the regulations work and how the law plays out. If that's really what we're trying to do, then one thing we could do was would be limit the time and that would force the town to either let us have no regulation at that date or to address it with town meeting at a future date. Well, I'm not exactly sure I agree that the purpose is to give us time to do something. What I'm saying is that the town voted 54 to 46 to prohibit. At the not, ballot box. Not, not, not to, to prohibit marijuana in the town in, in, the, uh, in the referendum. All this does is codify that. I understand. It, allow, it allows the town to pass a bylaw to codify what town the referendum vote was. Now, obviously, town meeting 
and decide something different from the referendum. That's that's what, you know, well, that's democracy. Do you have any opinion on what the impact would be of such a sunset provision if it were added? If the sunset, if there were a sunset provision to say that it only takes effect to a certain time. Right, that it ends on a certain date without further action. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to, I don't know, Laura. I'd have to think about that. Okay. I'm sorry. The, the, uh, the board, the, uh, this board met, I believe it was on February 14th, uh, to talk about this in, in more depth. I, I wasn't able to be at that meeting, and, and I don't think I've had a chance to go back and watch. But uh, my understanding, I just want to clarify something the town council just said, uh, which seems confusing. The referendum on recreational marijuana was the use of marijuana, the use of recreational marijuana. And our town as a community, within the context of Massachusetts, voted negative on the use of recreational marijuana. Correct? On the ballot no. question. It's a state law. On the ballot That's question. Uh, you can but use it. You can no, use no, no, it. No, no, Keep going. Your it, it clearly the, did not vote the referendum right. passed at the state level. Recreational marijuana was legalized by referendum. And over as a community, our own vote was actually opposed to it. Right. And because we're opposed to it, the use of marijuana, that gives our town the one-shot right to say, since you were kind of against this that passed, you have the right to ban establishments. Mm. Establishments, not use, establishments. And this was the confusion at town meeting, right. I think. Mm. And therefore, our strategy, I'm just saying this so we're clear, our strategy is that we are going to take advantage of that one-shot loophole. We are going to ban all establishments, not because we will rule them out forever. It's just because we're going to start with a clean slate of banning all of them. And then perhaps there may be supporters of, say, cultivators that come back and say, hey, that's good business. We might want to put it in the industrial area. And they can come back after the fact. So it's a two-stage process. We were 5-0 on that. Right? We were 5 on that boat. R right. And, well, I'm, j I'm just clarifying because, I, I, again, I listened to town council yeah, and it came I across confusing to me because he seems to be tying the referendum which relates to the use of marijuana to our ability to ban establishments. And I, again, I think that's where the confusion came, and I think we ought to make sure we start speaking clearly here so that by the time you get to the town meeting, it's very clear the words that we're using. It has nothing to do with use. That is that has changed. Nothing's in effect. The use of recreational marijuana. It is just establishments. And secondarily, it doesn't prohibit somebody from coming back, somebody that maybe thinks, yeah, I agree. We don't want retail shops on Main Street selling marijuana. However, Maybe there's an argument for our cultivators out in our commercial industrial areas. Right. And therefore they can come back and seek a zoning change or whatever it may be that would then allow those type of use, uh, zoning uses to come back in. Well, there is, then there is one over there now. We do have a medical uh, zoning I overlay over by... Uh, but that's, I believe yeah, that's, rec I think really, that's medicinal. Yeah. Medicinal, right? Correct. Medical, That's medicinal. Yeah. We're talking about recreational right, now, right, right. so we have to keep these boundaries uh, so that we're clear. Yeah, right. So I just want to, please. I'm sorry. Recre personal recreational use is a lot. Yes. We are not banning that. No, that was what Bob. Can't. That was the confusion. That was my point. Yeah. That's my. Well, you said we voted to ban it. We didn't vote to ban the use. We no. voted commercial. No. Uh, we're, 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 say, we're, say, we're saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Basically, the point that was brought up is that al what allows us to even consider mm -hmm. this is the town voted um, in opposition to, to the referendum. commercial. Right. Yeah, exactly. It had no right. effect other but than that's, giving us that's the That's what option. he's saying. That's right. all it is. But the state law is that you can use it, and that's not changing. We're not, we're not, yeah. We're not changing. And I think that, there was some confusion that. We're option. not making There's end a difference over between use. Yeah. And it's not like the old dry town where you couldn't have anything right. in your town. Right, right. But, but I, I, you know, honestly, when you go back, um, uh, Tom, go back and watch the town meeting presentation that you gave. It was not clear in your words, when you were not repeating yourself saying this is about establishments, it's not about use. It's about banning establishments, it's not about use. That's okay. It was Let's about re banning mar recreational marijuana, prohibiting recreational marijuana. And I think that's what created the confusion because there is a big distinction between prohibiting med med uh, recreational marijuana and prohibiting establishments. And I'm just trying to help the board right. Which we to can't, make we can't, sure... We can't. 
prohibit. Well, of course we can. Yeah. And no one here is saying I, that I, we I, are. It's not within I, our I, violent I, agreement of your yeah, point, because I have the same point. Yeah. I, we, and we voted 5-0 to do this. Right. Yes. Yeah, I and voted 5-0 exactly. and first I still time. support it. Exactly. Yeah. I just want to make sure that so right. we're talking about, this is about establishment. establishments. Right. 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 So I think, though, the point that you made, Bob, that you didn't make, Tom, was what we're doing is we're looking to lock it all down so that we can assess those very compact, complex rules that came out so that we then may more selectively open it up. Sure. That was your and advice to us last time. This is the right. best yes. way right. to do it. We have to make another set of establishments. I was just saying, as, yeah. as I was listening here, I wasn't, I was getting confused myself and until he cleaned it, he cleared it up. But I mean, I think that's the very strong message is, you know, we want to lock it down. And to your point, Laura, you're, you're trying to lock it down for a period of time forcing us to come back and I, I kind of see where you were going with that well, but, but my my view is that there is broad consensus in the community that we don't want pot shops so-called pot shops in town but I don't think there's necessarily consensus in the community uh, yeah. as to whether we want to say that Pfizer for example can't do medical research that involves THC right. or that we would right would prevent without ever even being able to see the type of business that might want to come into town that would be a cultivator of some sort. I'm not knowledgeable in exactly how these would work, but I wouldn't want to prevent so, that type of yeah. business without some serious information and thought and understanding of the community that we would be eliminating a potential business coming into town. Right. So, 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 so we've got to communicate at town meeting that, you know what, this locks everything out until we can better understand the laws and then we can open up what the community wants. That's yeah, that's right. the very simple translation. Yeah, I guess my concern is I want there to be some sort of steps going forward and that this doesn't just end with, oh, we've prohibited everything, end of story. Yeah, no, um, and, and, it's and the, the reason I voted in favor of it when we voted on, apparently it was February 14th, was that uh, I felt that it made perfect sense not to try and make some sort of rules when we didn't know what the regulations were. At that point in time, we weren't even sure when the regulations would be coming out. Um, and so now we have the regulations. Tom hasn't had time in 10 days to digest them for us to make any sort of possible changes, and I'm not suggesting that. I'm more <coughs> saying that I personally think I want to have this so that it's forced onto an agenda later and doesn't fall into a black hole and never get addressed again. Yeah, if, if, I, if I could take um, uh, what we're talking about here is uh, really a two-step process. We are going to ban everything. All right, I just want to schedule the second step. I'll, I'll, no, I understand. And, and, you know, I'm not saying a sunset's necessarily a bad idea. Uh, maybe it is, but I... But there may be a better way, which is you ban everything, but you then, you know, there are communities who are saying, hey, there's a business opportunity here for the Pfizer example that you gave, for example, that maybe we ought to be aggressive and uh, look at a fall town meeting, for example, if, if time allows, if, if you can uh, look at cultivation or things that people would not be opposed to. Um, but we also have to be prepared for the fact that somebody in the floor town meeting may try to do this in a one-step process, which is take this um, article 42 and amend it to say and delete say cultivators and then i assume that 43 and 44 uh, would have to basically say okay in case somebody creates a hole in the amendment we're going to have to have zoning behind it to say okay article 42 just prohibited all establishments except for laboratories and cultivators that was the amendment we then have to, I think the articles have to be prepared to well, say. And that's why I was asking what the impact would be in part. I was asking about a sunset provision, but I th it's a similar question. If there's a change to this, what's the impact on the zoning <laughs> article? We can't control the change because that could be an amendment on the floor of town meeting. Right. And therefore, yes. we would have to be able to respect the will of town meeting and say, okay, if they want to do it in one fell swoop, we have to say, okay, folks, since you just passed this, now this zoning change says that for any allowable uses, you know, here's how they have to follow, what have you. So, you know, I don't know if we're going to solve this tonight, but I, I think it's a worthwhile discussion so that we don't have the confusion we had in January. There will be. No. I was a little confused earlier. <laughs> well, I know, I know what this does, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, Bob helps clear it up. So, but I mean, well, I we need a does, clear well, message to town meeting. Simple as that. Right. What this I does. Wasn't and anticipating that was, what Bob. I think that's what Tom was trying to advise us a couple of weeks ago when we were downstairs. Yeah. yeah. No, I got it then. Clean, I didn't get it now. Clean, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, 
I mean, the plot <laughs> point is, is correct. So we may we may end up with a with a couple of exclusions and an amendment, and how do we react to that? Is well, I think the I, I, to, to Bob's point. And, and as well as to Lurz, I think you ought to decide if you're going to ar argue against it for those reasons. Right. Is yeah. that there's no planning to it. Right. If there's an amendment on the floor, it's kind of, right. well, we got no regulation of it. Why are we doing this when we have no regulation? I mean, you know, anytime we do a, uh, I mean, it took us, what it take us, nine months <clears throat> to do the medical right. marijuana zoning, you know, with public hearings, input from all different groups. Look how long if you're going to have, you know, a vote on town meeting, and that's all there is, without the public hearings that go through any kind of uh, intensive public hearings on, on this kind of a board article, you're running a risk. I agree with Bob. Uh, yep. So, so all I'm saying is the board ought to discuss amongst itself if you're going to decide for those reasons that if there is an amendment like this, you're going to talk about it against it or for it but i but bob's point is well taken what are you going to do right if there's a motion well, well uh, right now since we have ban across it's banned across the board is what we currently do just, if an amendment passed then i suppose we'd have to be prepared to amend the zoning amendment that comes behind it to right. say in light of the amendment to article 42 we would have to move <laughs> an amendment to say okay the allowed use is passed will amend the, uh, you know, the. Uh, this is where I get out of my depth here on zoning, yeah, uh, so you know, the, well, the, the, the use thirds, chart. But that right? would be the... But, but the, the problem is, then you won't have any regulation of that use. Yeah. That's that's the problem. Well, that, and right. I'm just saying, uh, we I don't totally, want that to happen. And you don't want that to happen. But we no. have to be prepared in case it does, because right. if they do amend it, where are we then? We're in a hole. Yeah. Now, now there's no zoning that applies to that? And is that all two-thirds? Well, the, the, the uh, 42 is general, uh, so it's majority. The other two are two thirds. Oh, what, two thirds to adopt, mm -hmm. not two thirds to. Uh, so, what don't. would happen if the uh, if Article 42 that only requires a simple majority passes, oh, yeah, and then the two zoning don't? Right. That'll be an interesting discussion because and <laughs> nice to know your answer. Well, no, because <laughs> and, and the reason the reason the zoning ones uh, are in there is, like I said five months ago, uh, th that's at the recommendation of the attorney general, and and she has advised kind of a belt and suspenders approach uh, that you have a, if you're going to if you're going to prohibit, you get a majority vote in your general bylaw. But since it is a land use issue uh, as to how you're going to use land, she's recommended if you're going to prohibit under the general, then pass a zoning um, as to very well taken. If one passes and the zoning doesn't, uh, are you still prohibited? Yeah, probably, but yeah, maybe reality, not strongly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's why, she, that, that, that's why we put those in there really at her recommendation. All right, so why don't we take all three of those at once? Do we? What's our pleasure here? <coughs> Do you want to move them together? Yeah, I, I think move, it makes I move sense, approval yeah. of articles 42, 43, and 44. Second. You, you move, no, you move the article, you move recommended approval. Move, approval. Move recommend, recommend approval recommend of approval. those articles. Yep. Okay, and you second that? Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I, I just want to also add that I plan, if this passes, to raise the issue in the future to address right. the clarification of it once we have a better understanding of the um, regulatory framework and then we can determine what areas that we might be willing to carve out, uh, thinking that, for example, independent testing laboratories and things like that, that are probably right. going to be widely accepted in town right. and would be something that we wouldn't want to... Opportunity. We wouldn't want to um, uh, sour our relationship with any of the pharmaceutical companies that we have in town because they wanted to yeah. do research that involved this and we had this you know, Complete. extremely broad uh, prohibition that prevented that. There, there were, to, to that point, there were a lot of supporters of, 
of this. You know, the, the ones that don't want us to revote, they want to right. allow this. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think out of respect for them, I, I think, I wonder if we, the board ought to be more proactive of going to town meeting to say, don't view this as a permanent ban forever. Um, and maybe even suggest <laughs> the possibility, you know, not that we haven't had enough town meetings lately, but suggest the possibility of a fall town meeting uh, to, if assuming the regulations come through, so that those proponents, the people that feel really strongly that cultivators and other uh, uses are appropriate, that the that the administration and the board is recognizing that that we're not just banning it and crossing and our arms and saying no, walking away. That we're like no, there could be a business opportunity here, and we should send that signal actually to the business, the business community. Yeah. I was going to recommend that the board review that presentation, those slides, before it goes to town okay. meeting, so that the board can ensure that the board's intention like is what we're, clear. Like what we're doing with North Reading right now. We're putting right. a ton of time into that. Well, but yeah. That's right. a good idea, Dan. I'm on. We haven't reviewed any well, charts in, that are going to... Not town meeting yet. We haven't reviewed any charts going to special town meeting. But, but to that point, it's like, if we're going to put together four charts or X number of charts on this, the board of selectmen should be in full violent support of those charts. Right. Yep. Okay, that motion passed for 42, 3, and 4. 5-0-D. Okay, you got it? Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes.